Hello Eagle Nation, we had a great week at PHS and I am really looking forward to this week because it is homecoming week. I hope that you can make it out for the parade on Wednesday night where our community comes together to celebrate our kids, our coaches, and our directors. It will be a great time of fellowship as we carry on the tradition of homecoming. We are having a pep rally on Friday and we will have all students in the pep rally unless you indicate it on our survey that you do not want your kid to attend. Parents, you are invited as well, and we will send more information this week on how you can join us for the pep rally. I want to forewarn our parents that it might be a tight squeeze in your section. The homecoming dance is on Saturday night. Parents, you're not invited. And you can scroll down the newsletter to see how your child can order tickets. There are so many opportunities for us to connect and deepen our relationships with each other during homecoming, and I hope to see you at one of them. And speaking of connecting, we are so excited to have 400 students who are brand new to Prosper. One of the many ways that we connect with our new students is through our new student welcoming committee. Ms. Viers is our assistant principal who helped create the new student welcoming committee, and she organized a breakfast last week for our new kiddos and our 28 student ambassadors. Thank you, Ms. Viers, for having this breakfast to make PHS feel like home to our new kids. Joining me today are several student ambassadors from our new student welcoming committee. Each of these outstanding young adults exemplifies servant leadership and they are doing so much to make PHS feel like home. Here they are talking about how being on our new student welcoming committee helps them to connect and grow with others. Hi, I'm SP and I'm in 11th grade. Hi, I'm Junior and I'm in 10th. I'm Lily and I'm in 10. I'm Sydney and I'm in 12. Last year during my podcast, Something New, I suggested to Dr. Bridget the creation of a welcoming committee to help students who are new to the district feel more welcome at Prosper High School. When I was new three years ago, I really struggled finding a group of people that I connected with and felt like I was really a part of Prosper High School and part of the Prosper community. And this committee helps new students going through the same thing. We just try to just connect students, make them feel welcomed and try to connect them with people who just have their same interests, same mindsets, and same goals. And being in such a large school and such a large school district, it can be really difficult with so many kids around you. You don't really know where to start or where to turn to. But luckily, we have students like us ready to help you guys get set and help them connect and find people that are interested in the same things that they are. And we're so excited to be part of the welcoming committee and help these new students along their way. Thank you, student ambassadors. A few more things before I wrap up this episode. Did you know that we have 180 minutes of tutorial time each week that are built into our daily schedule? Each day we have Eagle time from 1144 to 1220, and this is a block of time that we have set aside for our students to study, to catch up on their work, or to get drafted by their teacher for tutoring. I hope that you will take a few moments to talk to your student on how they are using these 180 minutes each week to ensure their academic success. Don't forget that we also have before and after school tutorials that are offered by our teachers. Please reach out to your student's teacher if you have any questions about academic assistance through one of these opportunities. Finally, I wish that I could blink my eyes and make all of the construction and traffic go away, but it is, but it is our reality and it will continue to be our reality for years to come. Thank you for being considerate and patient when driving on our campus. It is much appreciated. That's it for me. Have a great rest of your Sunday. For kids, I'm Dr. John Burdett.